If you're new to my channel, hi, my name's Rosie. Just before the video starts, I know it's a little bit premature, but if you enjoy the video you're about to watch, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It just helps me understand what videos you guys like and enjoy, and it also helps my channel. Also, guys, I'm over on Instagram. It's at Rosie Simpson, double underscore, if you would like to go over and give me a following over there. I generally, I'm going to say generally, look, look, ugh start again <laughs> i'm gonna say i generally upload my photos i generally upload my photos <laughs> generally oh my god we're on a roll guys i generally upload my stories daily or at least i try to and yeah also subscribe to my channel <laughs> it's gonna be one of those days i'm telling you honestly it's been i'm just gonna say everybody's got a cold in my house um my husband's also got COVID, so which is not good. Um, so yeah, it's 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 and obviously we've got flooding and stuff. So it's been an eventful. It's going to be an eventful week. It's been an eventful week so far, but it's going to be another one. I can guarantee you that much. Also, guys, can I just say again? I know I, I don't know if I say this often enough. I don't so I don't know if I say it enough, but can I just thank you for all your love, your support, everything? I think you guys are amazing. And I just want to remind you that I couldn't do this without you. We're nearly at 2,000 subscribers, guys. You never know. So, yeah, again, thank you so much, love. And I just appreciate each and every one of you. Because, again, as I said, I just yeah, I couldn't do it without you. So today, da -da -da, I've been to B&M. I went to B&M last week as well. And I held some stuff back. Um, and then I've been to B&M today, a different B&M, because I wanted to get some of the Mrs. Hinch Frosted Berries. It's limited edition, but I could only find the flash. Um, and I think there was something else that was in it. I couldn't find the washing powder or anything. So I don't know whether or not, I mean, where I live, it's blooming useless anyways, because we're... Yeah, we, we, we don't, we, we are generally the last people to get like all the new updated stuff and yeah, um, unfortunately it's just one of those things so I'm not sure but anyways I picked, I picked some up, um, I've had it before and I also went to Home Bargains so my plan obviously was to do a Home Bargains haul as well but my Home Bargains, I wasn't impressed guys, I really really, I'm going to be truthful, I'm going to be honest because this is what it's all about and I wasn't impressed. I did pick a couple of bits up. Um, I'm not sure how much I've spent. I'll total it all up at the end. But yeah, some last week, some this week. And it's literally just household bits. We've got some Christmas bits as well that I said I was going to pick up um, in my last B&M. Oh God, I think I did a £5 gifts and under stocking gifts and under um b and m if you haven't seen it guys please go over and watch out my channel it's actually not a bad video <laughs> there's no spiders there's no surprises so i'm just going to get into it anyway so i think i'm going to do home bargains first um just i was just a bit disappointed but i think it's my home bargains because i see so many other videos on youtube and everybody else is like home bargains blah blah blah, blah. and then i go into my home bargains and i'm just like oh. I don't know if it's just me or what, but anyways, I seen this guys and I couldn't resist. I picked this up. It was like four pounds. Um, isn't it cute? And I do love gingerbread, especially at Christmas and stuff. And I just thought, do you know what? It's a bamboo serving board. And that will go cool with the decor and stuff, and then we can still use it and the kids can use it. So yeah, not bad for four pounds. Um I did see one in next, but it was 20 pounds. Um, it wasn't a gingerbread. But £20 is a lot of money to pay for a serving board um, that you're only going to use for a few weeks and then it's going to go away for the rest of the year because I will pull that out again next year. But I don't know. I mean, I love Next Home, but this is not a Next Home video. Um, this is B&M and Home Bargain. So you get two for the price of one. <laughs> so for anybody that loves B&M and obviously loves Home Bargains, yeah, there's a bit of everything. Um... Lazy Susan, I have been after one of these for absolutely ever for like the fridge. You know when you've got like all your condiments and stuff and you're trying to find out little bits and pieces and whatever else. And I just thought, I seen this and I think it was 2 99 which is actually really good. Because in B&M, they're a little bit more expensive. So yeah, um, just 
just thought grab it. So I did. Imperial leather. This is the bubble bath. I've bought this before. I actually really, really like it. Um, it's the lavender and wild iris and it smells. It's just really nice. And can I just say, guys, so in Tesco's, the cell, I think it's the smaller version because I did notice that they had the smaller version in um, Home Bargains as well. This was, I'm going to say, about £1.79. I know it was under £2. And I usually buy the smaller version from Tesco's, which at the moment is or was on offer a couple for the last couple of weeks. Um, and I think it was like £1.50 something or £1.39, no, £1 something like that. For about 40 pence, 50 pence cheaper, dearer. And, and it sorted myself out. I know it is, guys. I've had a coffee this morning. <laughs> I've been to Starbucks on the way home. And I've got myself an eggnog latte. Has anybody tried these? I don't drink a lot of coffee, but I do like a Starbucks. And this, I stupidly got it with full fat milk. Um, well, semi skimmed milk, whatever they use in Starbucks. I should have. I normally ask for oat milk um, when I do treat myself to a Starbucks, but I didn't. So I'm trying to take my time with it so it doesn't make me feel sick. Um, Because I'm not wasting it. So <laughs> Imperial leather, guys. Yeah, anyways, I bought a big bottle of that because I thought, why not? Um, and then I think Home Bargains is really, really good for like the extra big bottle sizes, if that makes sense. This was, again, under £2. I have got the receipt in the bag, so I'll have a quick look. Um, but I'm positive it was under two pounds. I think it was like one pound ninety nine or something. And this is the expert, the the Sanex um kids for delicate skin, head to toe wash. And I, I really really like Sanex. I use it all the time. Um, but yeah, I just thought because this stuff for for the smaller bottles, it's usually like two pounds fifty a bottle, and that's when it's on offer. Otherwise, usually it's about three pounds. So yeah, um grabbed a bottle of that for the kids i mean i'll use it myself as well so but i'm just using the kids as an excuse i have got the receipt here hopefully everything's on there so and i didn't get that much to be fair because as i said i wasn't impressed i just i don't know i think it's just maybe mine um which is a bit of a shame really that gingerbread board 4.99 guys i do apologize um this is what happens when you don't shop you're not used to shopping in certain shops and you generally um and then you go in and you try and remember prices off the top of your head <laughs> right so the sanex was 2.99 get it right rose there you go even still do you know what i mean that's a that's that's like a big bottle that's twice the size of the bottle that i would normally get for i'm gonna say the same price so there you go either way it's a winner buddy who is my dog for anybody that's new to my channel and doesn't know he is um, he's, he's a French bulldog. Um, he's a very poorly bred French bulldog um, for reasons out of my control. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, it's not unfortunately. Anyways, I got him a carrot. It's another Christmas present in the bag for him. This is like a pound, 29 or something. It's a carrot. I'm looking. It was a carrot, carrot. I've just seen it. Oh my god. Yeah, uh pound twenty-nine. And what he does is he's done about anybody else's dogs who's got like yeah, but he'll take it, he'll put it in the garden, and then it'll be gone forever. So <laughs> I tend not to buy um too much. And because he's quite he's got quite a flat face, well he has got a very flat face, bless him. And um, he can't have bones and things, which is a shame. So I tend to just get him like the soft toys and stuff, but he loves them. Um, and he'll be really, really pleased with that when he sees it on Christmas morning. Something I just grabbed for the kids because I thought, you know what, why not? Um, it's a post box and letters to Santa so the kids can sit um, in a couple of weeks' time and write their kids off to Santa. And they can build the post box and everything. I think this was like 79 p yeah 79p so not too bad just pop that there for 79p you can't go wrong um and hopefully there'll be enough to last for next year as well because i'll just put them away because that's what i do i collect things which is generally sometimes a good idea because then 
if you need it again or you know to kind of like cut down so you sort of don't have to purchase it again next year it's still there and that's what that's what i do school socks for lexi again i just picked these up these are knee high school socks um 12 and a half to three and a half and they were two pounds you get three pairs just your normal plain gray school socks and i just thought because cold weather's starting to come in i wasn't anywhere close enough where i could get some tights so i just grabbed these instead so they'll do for the time being um plus she's at an age as well where i don't know if she wants to wear tights if that makes sense but i'm hoping towards probably the end of december and whatever she'll she'll yeah she'll be all right to wear them and stuff because her little legs are going to be freezing otherwise um alberto balm styling gel it is balm isn't it yeah if i'm wrong sorry guys i apologize um ultra strong the ultra strong styling gel for ultimate hold and control this is for xander for his hair he's just been to the hairdressers well he hasn't he's just been to the barbers and had a haircut so i've got some of that um and again this was um let's have a wee look i think it was a pound i'm literally trying to yeah yeah it was 99p I'm trying to like scoop through the receipt and stuff. I generally don't like doing that because I just think it takes, I think it's ignorant. Um, I think I'm being ignorant. I don't think people are being ignorant. I just think I'm being ignorant if I um, take too long looking at my receipts and stuff. So I generally um, try and obviously put prices and things, but because I don't usually shop in home bargains, I'm not familiar with the prices and things. So again, yeah, 99p. They did have um, oh, Brill Cream, Brill Cream Ultra Hold, and I think it was like waterproof. But you know when you just think like I was going to pick it up, I think it's like 2 99 But you know when you think Brill Cream is generally, like my dad used Brill Cream. <laughs> and I've worked in care for so long that for me, it's like the older generation. But I know it's not, I think it, it's just my perception because my dad always used it. It's literally my perception. So I kind of like just looked at it and thought for an eight year old, mm, no, I'll get the other one. Um, it's just me being silly guys. Um, nothing against Brill Cream or anybody using it. Just, just me being daft. It's just a spray bottle. It is what it is. Xander's hair again, because on a morning he gets up and bless him, it doesn't matter how long it gets, how small it, like how how short it is, whatever. He's always got bed head. Um, I think it's because they usually get a bath before bed, and then they'll get the supper. And before he goes to bed, his hair's still wet, or if he blow dries it, he blow dries it. So it literally looks like he's just stuck his fingers in the socket plug. Um, and I'm sick of like standing with him at the sink, just trying to wet it and stuff. So I bought a spray bottle, and again, I'm sure the spray bottle was like seventy nine p. Yeah. <laughs> And then just some doggy bags because you can never have enough doggy bags um, and unfortunately at this time I don't have enough doggy bags so <laughs> I bought some more and they were, I'm looking, are they even on there? 99p and they're compostable as well so that's a good thing. Um, yeah 99p and you get one, two, three, yeah, four packs, four in the pack. And it's literally, I think you get probably about 100 bags in each pack. I'm lying, it probably won't be that many, but yeah, we're not. We're sitting here discussing poop bags for doggies. Um, we'll put those to one side. So, the B&M stuff. Who remembers me saying in my last video for the £5 stocking fillers that I was going to get some more of these for the kids? Um, because I think they're actually really good. You get lollies and stuff in them. You've got sprinkles. They get like a, a jam jar to drink out of. There's a straw. There's what looks like sherbet and stuff. So you literally get so you get sherbet straws, gummy bears, a wow white icing, sprinkles, a whirl pop, and candy floss. Hey, they're actually really good. Um, I can see two. I can't see any candy floss, but I can see, I can certainly see two. Anyways five pound each guys um and i got blue for the boys because mm. this is bubblegum flavor as well i very well couldn't um give them i mean i could i don't think they'd care to be honest 
and then I picked up another one for Lexi which is obviously the strawberry flavour and you just get the same stuff in but instead of it being blue it's pink um, I don't think it really matters does it these days pink blue whatever and Xander did actually say to me bless that pink was his favourite colour at one point so hmm. I don't know we'll just see who gets what in what in their stockings and stuff um, what I might do is, is with these because they're quite big I don't think they're going to fit in the stockings I might actually put them in their um, Christmas Eve bags and then they've got something to kind of like make on Christmas Eve and stuff usually I get like they get new pajamas or a new onesie and then they get like sweets and maybe something that they'll keep them occupied for the night I think this will keep them occupied five pound each guys then just some kitchen foil I think this is about one pound 19 is that upside down is that <laughs> no it wasn't upside down in the first place never mind anyways yeah 10 meters um, just because I constantly run out of kitchen foil I use kitchen foil for everything and I recycle it because I put it in my green bin so it doesn't go in the normal bin you will be happy to know um, Febreze this is the Mrs Hinch that I was talking about now do you know what the silly thing is is because I've got another bag sitting down there that I bought like over a week well a week ago over just over a week ago it was about either a week ago or two weeks ago now and I can't remember what's in it so I'm thinking, I vaguely remember putting this back because it wasn't the scent that I wanted because I wanted the frosted berries. But I couldn't find anything apart from two things in the frosted berries and I'm sure this was one of them in a different B&M that I went to the other week. Um, but this is the Frosted Rose Wonderland and it's the Mrs Hinch Winter Edition um, Febreze. And I love it. So I grabbed that. Um, not sure how much it was again i would have a look in a moo because i always make sure i've got the receipt 12.99 just some bold um frosted rose wonderland bold platinum again how many you get in here 55 washes and it's just the little capsules 12.99 that's something i've not really used before because i tend to think a little bit overrated but I thought you know what I'm gonna get some so it's the Lenore because I've seen it loads and there's lots of like of you guys um that tend to buy it as well and there's lots of like people like other like people on YouTube and stuff like that that buy it in the halls and things and I just thought you know what I'm gonna grab it um I wonder if this stuff works you know when you get static and you can be walking along with the trolley and then you've got to touch somewhere and you get an electric shock and it blows you like into the other aisle <laughs> well it doesn't but it feels that way anyways yeah not this um i wonder if it works with static and stuff oh it does it's static I'm standing there like literally like prepare yourself before you go into the shops <laughs> i am armed lenore care crease release oh my god I do, do you know what I, I, I crack myself up i tell you what right so yeah ruby jasmine and i think this was like two pound fifty a bottle but again i will double check because i've got uh -huh, i've got the receipt here my lovelies um and then i think oh hang on just move myself forward a little bit this was the other thing that i bought today which is the lenore frosted rose wonderland conditioner um I picked a big jar of the scent balls up as well for you know like the that you can put like almost everywhere but at 7.99 I thought you know what that's like eight pounds more or less for conditioner and I've already got so yeah no I just I put it back I didn't get it um I think sometimes like the seven eight eight pounds 7.99 it was yeah a little bit steep um for what it was the scent that you know the little scent balls and you can get the smaller pack packets smaller boxes bottles or whatever for like a few quid so i just thought Do you know what i'm sure i've got some in the cupboard i'm absolutely positive i've got some in the cupboard um that's the wrong receipt <laughs> that's my next home receipt um so yeah so this is obviously yeah the sweet mega shakes like five pound the bold as i said it was 12.99 the lenore winter wonderland was three pounds 49 guys um the milk oh god no wrong one b&m flexi oh god 
the bag was £25. <laughs> it wasn't, it was 25p. Oh, I swear to God, I've got issues. <laughs> It's 25p. It's 25p. 25 pounds for a blooming carrier bag. I was going to say bloody hell. It better be gold. Um, anyways, yeah, Febreze. The Febreze was £2.49 and the Ruby Jasmine, the Lenore um, crease release was £2.49 as well. <laughs> I've got issues. Oh my gosh. Right. So that's that bag down. Gone and done. That one. More Lenore because this is what I bought last week and it's literally been sitting in a bag for just behind the couch um, until uh, yeah I knew I was going to do a B&M haul and at the start of the video I explained that it was meant to be um, it was actually just, it was actually meant to be home sense haul and yeah I just wasn't impressed so I didn't get a lot and then I wanted to they didn't have in what I wanted so I went to B&M to see if they had the um Mrs. Hinge stuff in and they didn't either so I just got the other one but never mind um this is the well-being jasmine and red berry collection and again it's about three pounds 49 and it smells amazing let's see just yes yeah, smell vision somebody needs to invent smell vision so I can actually like let you smell it through if you if you buy it you'll know how how it smells if you haven't bought it go and try it because it's amazing it's lovely um and then just the mrs hinch um flash this is the frosted eucalyptus one because does anybody else stand in the store and smell stuff and as much as i love flash sometimes it can have a certain smell about it especially if it's floor cleaner um i, I can't explain it it just smells i don't know it's weird but i don't like it and every other scent that I picked up, I mean, I can slightly smell it on this one, but I can smell more pine than anything else. But I just grabbed this one anyways. Um, and yeah, because I didn't like the other ones. And I've had like, I think is it the, the purple one? I can't remember what it is. And it's one of my favorite scents as well. Sorry guys. Oh, you know when you just get in and then you just chuck everything. Cause, well, that's what I did. Um, and now I'm paying for it because I'm having to stretch. <laughs> ironing board cover because my ironing board cover is stained and it's old and I think I must buy a new one like every couple of year. Don't call me dirty because I'm not. It's just literally I take it off, I wash it and as I need it and stuff. But you can only wash it so many times and then it starts to kind of like break down the fabric and stuff underneath it. So, and it's stained and I can't get the stains out of it. Laundry room, five pounds, B and M, and it's just a grey one, um, and it says laundry day, wash it, dry it, iron it, and trust me, if I don't need to, I'm not ironing it, because I don't know about anybody else. Some people find it therapeutic, don't they? I have tried it so many times, and I just end up hurting my back. I like, I literally cannot walk the next day, just standing for like three hours iron and clothes if you find it therapeutic my hat goes off to you i think you're amazing but i think it's the most boringest thing in the world i cannot stand i hate standing iron and clothes um I, I mean i even went and bought a steamer because i thought i could just steam it i don't even like doing that um so yeah i iron as i need to go and i've learned my lessons over the years as well with young children that if you stand and iron everything, I can guarantee you at some point when they're going to get either a pair of socks, a t-shirt, even just a pair of pyjamas or a pair of boxer shorts or, or knickers, they're going to pull everything out that you've stood and ironed so nicely and you've put back into the drawers and stuff just to find this one thing. And then they're going to turn around and say, Mom or Dad, I can't find it. So, yeah, you're going to have stood and ironed for three to four hours. For nothing because then you've got to do it all again and yeah no i kind of saw that my lesson a long time ago um mouthwash this is waken is it waken or oh, i'm sure it, it i mean it looks like waken waken wait <laughs> i need an english dictionary i've lived here all my life and i still don't get it right um waken mouthwash and it's got fluoride in it and this is the peach and mint one and it was on offer um 
well not oh god it's not focusing guys i do apologize the fact that i'm looking in the viewfinder but i'm aware i am like that it's not focusing and it's just been naughty so we'll leave it there and hopefully you can kind of see what it's doing but yeah um peach and mint and i've not had this before and i thought do you know what and it's got no alcohol in it um and it's blended with natural peach and mint so <laughs> i thought do you know what and for a 500 ml bottle and i think it was on offer for about one pound 70 something like that or one pound 79 so i grabbed it um it'll probably be wrong but please forgive me guys i did get this lot last week the week before i'm sure it was about a week and a half ago actually now um often pride because i usually get the spray and i mean it cripples us like i open the windows um i like i literally you know i, I close the door so the dog can't get in and stuff like that it takes my breath away i cannot honestly as good as it is oven pride with the spray one like in in the, the aerosol can it, it just it kills us so um i spotted this one and i thought you know what i'm gonna grab it and hopefully this won't be as strong when you spray it and stuff i don't think it will be but this is the oven pride in a spray bottle um that'll be a little bit better because i've also found as well like stubborn stains for other bits and pieces um I like a casserole dish like a, a, a metal white casserole dish and it's quite an old one and so over the years it, it had like tainted colours and stuff um so one day i got the bright spark idea and i got the oven pride and I actually because nothing else has worked to get this off um i've tried all sorts and i didn't want to chuck it out because it's still a good oven tin and it does everything it's got the lid and everything and i just thought you know what so i sprayed the oven cleaner the oven pride on it and i just left it and i let it sit um and i went back to it and i gave it a good rinse and stuff and then i put it in the dishwasher to like obviously make sure that everything got, like was there was no traces of the stuff left and it worked wonders it got mainly nearly i'm gonna say about 98 percent of the old marks off it like the old cooker marks and stuff so yeah just a little for your fyi because yeah just no apparent reason thought i'd tell you that <laughs> um vanish i've literally i'm gonna hold it there that's better i literally um i got this for the carpet in the hallway <laughs> this is like i swear like if you are ogs to like my halls and stuff like that you're gonna be sick like over the last few hauls of b and m and stuff i have bought so much stuff for that hallway carpet just to try and get rid of the smell of dog because <laughs> i'm paranoid that if i can smell it everybody else can smell it and he's a smelly little devil um and I've tried all sorts, but anyways, and it like the stuff that you put down, like the carpet fresheners, they only last for like two minutes and stuff. And I know this is probably um gonna do the same, but I have used this before, and this gets dirt and it neutralizes odors, it removes dirt, it doesn't get dirt, it remove <laughs> it removes dirt. It's five times dirt removal, stain neutralizes stain odor odors. You spray it down, you leave it, and then you vacuum it up. I'm sure everybody is aware what this stuff does. But it's brilliant and i just thought do you know what i'm gonna grab it um i think this was about five pounds was it on offer i can't remember it was either four pounds or five pounds for like the tin so i thought why not i'll just grab that um this is like i think this is b m's version of like the minky cloths and um, sponges things it's a, it's a pound it's an all-purpose microfiber cloth it is what it is guys self-explanatory um toothbrushes just one there was two but i had to give lexi hers because um she dropped her toothbrush on the floor and she wouldn't use it after that so which is fair enough um i gave her a new one and then i've got this paw patrol one for sander um again sorry i'm just looking in the viewfinder to make sure that it's focusing and it's a battery powered toothbrush um and i just think they're really good these especially like to help kids like you know clean their teeth properly and stuff battery powered um or you can get the electric ones but in fairness the electric ones can be quite pricey and for my kids it's generally um bits will get lost or yeah so i just i buy the battery operated ones um 
they usually last long enough and with some of them you can also get the, like the detachable heads and stuff so yeah um detangling detangling conditioner if you can see that my love is because oh there we go i was getting asked to get this one again so it's literally just the l'oreal lb dream lens it's for long damaged hair um and it's for detangle and conditioner um i i, I did buy this for my lexi but because she's got really long hair and she tends to get quite um gets quite tatty because it's quite long um but she says this is no good for her hair because she can't wash it out properly um so yeah which is a bit of a shame and i mean i do generally do it for her but she's nearly 11 guys and uh, do you know what i mean like i mean if she'll let me help her i do but she doesn't always want my help um independent little lady well, she's not so little anymore but yeah so she just said it was no good for her hair um it made it kind of like quite like greasy so yeah i just use the other i, I still use the kids shampoos and stuff for them um elbow grease spotted this thought oh, i'm gonna see if that's like any good it's got like plastic it's a microfiber cloth, it's double sided, non scratch, dual sided and it says it's the only cloth you'll ever need and it removes tough and stubborn stains um, it's limited edition, I mean the limited edition got me straight away <laughs> and I think it was a pound <laughs> like seriously I am like so bad with that when I go shopping and stuff anything that says I'm new or limited edition I'm like I'm trying new just suck it in straight away um venus um razor heads because yeah i find i think these are maybe gonna last longer and i'm just sick of buying packets of razors um because everybody just goes through them like they're going out of fashion and because there's so many of us in the house we are a big family there's like nine of us everybody just like grabs them and stuff um and then you go to get one and it's been used it's not there anymore so I thought, right, okay, I do have the, like, the proper other part of this. Um, so I thought I'm just going to start buying the disposables again, the heads, because um, I won't go through these as much. And it's literally works out cheaper. Um, and these will last me, I'm going to say, like, uh, there's, there's four. So, yeah. Is there four? Yeah, there's four. These will last me um, a little while, so... I swear I just bought one of these out of Tesco's, a big one, possibly, I did. I know I did it sitting upstairs because I, I, I completely forgot that I'd bought this one. I told you, when things sit in the bags for like so long, I forget what I've actually bought and then I rebuy them and stuff. But I mean, it's not too bad because it just means that I don't have to buy any more for a wee while. But this is the Mitchum Powder Fresh, 48 hours. And it smells lovely. I mean, I'm not a sweaty person. <laughs> I'm actually really not, guys. But I like the smell of it. It just reminds me. I'm going to do this because there's only me. Ugh. Okay, it's stuck. Oh, it smells. It just reminds me. Excuse me. It just reminds me of baby powder and stuff. So at least, I think, yeah, baby, like just, just powder. So I'm kind of addicted to this at the moment because I just love the smell of it. It's absolutely, it's gorgeous. And they do for men and they do with the scents and stuff. But that's my favourite one at the minute. So I keep buying it. Um, and then just some bleach. This is the Platinum Thick Bleach. It's the strongest one they do. They do a cheaper one of this. I think this is about 79p, something like that. I know they do like, I think it's a 48p one or something. Because I usually buy that. Or is it 38 I don't know i have price amnesia <laughs> so yeah um i just get that one because i bought that on my last b m trip and it's actually really good bleach um and then i got some heat slayer lv dream lens and it's iron spray it's got vitamins and castor oil and you just leave it in um for long sleek hair Heat damage shield smooths and detangles and it's three days sleek because 
I have obviously started like straightening my hair again and stuff like that and I just thought you know because I get my hair highlighted and things um it'd be good to put something on that's going to protect it and I never know what to buy and I buy all sorts and then apparently this is new as well um and then my daughters because I have kids they use it as well um and I just thought, do you know what? I'm going to grab it and see if it's any good. Um, I think that was a little bit expensive, that one. It was a little bit pricey. And for some reason, the receipt's not in this bag. So as much as I'd like to say that I usually keep hold of receipts, I didn't keep hold of... Hang on a second. No, this is the one that I spent today. But yeah, the receipt's gone out of that bag, guys. I do apologise. I actually think it was in the other bag um, from the £5 stocking gift haul things and that's it my lovelies so i'm gonna say roughly i think i've probably spent somewhere in the region with the stuff that i bought like a week week and a half ago i'm probably gonna say there's about there's 20 pounds in home bargains do you know what i'm just gonna work it all out i'll pop it at the start of the video um and then he's have got an idea but that's it my lovelies that is my b and m and home bargains haul <sighs> i'm not i don't shop in home bargains a lot but the last time i went to home bargains it wasn't actually in where i live it wasn't my city home bargains or my town home bargains or whatever you want to call it um i actually left the area to i was traveling and yeah um their home bargains was brilliant i was in awe it was amazing but my home bargains i was just i don't know i think i was expecting just my expectations were too high so <laughs> never mind not to worry um and i just i continue to love being um i'm not gonna ask you what your favorites are guys because to be fair that's not fair and i've got my favorites and stuff like that and I, you, you can get some good bits in either shops um just it wasn't my day to day so that was it um so i am going to end the video here so if you enjoyed the video please don't forget to give it a massive thumbs up as i said at the start of the video it just helps me understand what videos you guys enjoy and prefer i am going to try and get this uploaded today so you will see it later on this evening and oh my god where was i <laughs> literally i've lost my train of thought um yeah don't forget to give it a thumbs up i'm also over on instagram if you would like to give me a following over there it's at rosie simpson double underscore and if you got to the end of the video and you see this part please don't forget to subscribe guys it would mean the world to me if you join my youtube family and yeah i'm gonna say stay safe take care lots of love please 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 take it easy especially with the weather at the moment and i will see you all in the next video Bye-bye for now. Ta-ta!